Now, conversational programming. I want to go through a very simple example here. If you think about an 8 inch by 8 inch by 8 inch cubed part, we're going to put a 6 inch diameter half inch deep circle on all three all, on three of the sides of this part. When we set the part on the machine, we're going to find one part zero. It's going to be the front left corner of the part facing the operator front left corner. And the top of the surface is going to be zero. We're then going to machine a 6-inch diameter circle, half inch deep, right in the center of that side. Again, front left corner zero. I'm going to put it right in the center of each side. Again, I only have to pick up one part zero when I set this up. Many people think, well, now I have to, I have to find all these sides. You don't. And that's another thing that makes it very accurate doing this. So here's my part. As I said, front left top corner is my part zero. That's the only part setup that I have to do. I'm going to do a mill circle, uh, just a simple three-axis mill circle on the top. For those of you who are familiar with the mill circle or conversational herco, you'll, you'll recognize this. Those who aren't, I simply tell it from that corner, where's the, zero, where's the center of my circle, what's the radius, how deep am I going, what tool am I using, what type of, of feature is it, speeds and feeds, so on. Very simple conversational program. I hit my graphics button, I get to see the half inch circle I've put on top of my 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight cube. Now, I want to do that same circle on the back side of the part. Now, my part zero was the top left portion of, or top left corner of the part, which is now, when I orient the part into position to machine the back, is now this bottom left corner. I want to move my zero so it is the front left corner of the side I'm going to machine, in this case the back. How do I do that? The first thing I want to do, in essence here, I'm moving zero from this corner back to this corner on the part. That's all I'm doing. The way I do that is with a rotary position. I will then do a transform plane reference positions, which tell us the distance from one point to the other. I do my simple mill circle block, and I close off that side with a transform plane end, meaning everything reverts back to the original part zero. Here's my rotary position, tilting the A-axis, the trunnion, 90 degrees towards the operator. I'm telling it from this corner, how far is it to that back corner? Well, in X, there's no movement zero degrees, or zero distance. From this corner to here, it's eight inches in the Y, and that's a positive direction. It's away from the operator, eight inches. I'm not going to any of these corners down here, so there's no movement in Z either. It's on the same plane as the original zero, so Z doesn't move. So I put a Z of zero. My mill circle, exactly the same as I did before. Notice that it's not some strange number for Z. Top of the part or the top of the side I'm cutting is zero, going a half inch deep. Four inches and four inches, three inch radius, just like before. Then I close out that side, saying now that everything before this transform plane and, and after the transform plane reference points will be done on this back side. I hit my draft, my draw screen. And I now have a circle on the back side. You'll notice here I had to rotate the part in graphics to be able to see the back side. This red, yellow, and green Cartesian coordinate system shows my part zero, or my part setup. This was the front left corner. The operator would be standing here. That would make this the back. So you can see that I just very simply put that on the back. Let's now do the right side of the part. Here is the original part zero that I found when I set up the job. I'm going to move it so my zero for this side is that corner. Here we get to see the distance. We're going from here to here, so we have an x value of 8, a y value of 8. Again, I'm on the same plane as this circle, so z doesn't move. z stays the same. So I'll do my rotary position, both tilting 90 degrees in A, 
and 90 degrees in C to rotate the part now. Here's where I put the distance of 8 inches, 8 inches in 0. So I move over 8 in X, I move back 8 in Y, Z stays the same. I have the exact same mill circle block, hit the draw button, and I now have it on the right side of the part. Again, this would be the front, back, here's the right side. So you can see, very simple to be able to program uh, conversationally. You don't have to learn a lot of new things. You're able to use the conversational programming that many of you are already familiar with, add those addition uh, blocks, the rotary position, the transform plane. Um, it takes very uh, short period of time. We're talking hours, maybe days, not weeks and months for an operator to, uh, to become very, very comfortable with it. Depends on the level of their expertise.